Hello everyone, welcome to the Hoop Club tutorial. So this is our winter box. I used to be able to show you the box and that would be different, but it's like this every month now. So winter box 2023 and we are stitching the linen table runner. So full confession, I actually haven't finished this yet. Um, so the pictures were taken of like one end of it, but this is a close up of the little bows that we're going to be stitching. So this one's hopefully going to carry you through November and December and just be a really lovely slow thing to do during Christmas, but also not overwhelming. So you can just sit down and stitch one bow and that would just be a really lovely thing to do. And eventually you'll get there. And you, as I said before in the kind of lead up, you could do this as an advent project, which would be really lovely kind of one one bow a day starting whenever you want but i'm going to talk a little bit about what's in the box so um it is very simple there are no kind of um, complicated techniques i'm going to talk you through stitching around the edge of the runner first because i found when i was stitching this that it was my thread was kind of catching on the raw ends and because i hadn't stitched around the edge to start with so it really will be a nice experience to stitch it um, if you do stitch around and hem your edges first um, and then you just get the kind of like boring bit out of the way as well so you can do that either with a sewing machine or you can hand stitch it and i'll show you how to hand stitch it so we'll go through what's in the box and i'll give you a few tips okay so we have your needle this is your thread so this is really lovely linen thread and this is different to the normal type of thread that we would stitch our hoops with which we would split this thread is um non it basically doesn't separate it's a really lovely silky high quality thread and it's just such a lovely weight as well so this you don't need to split we're just using it as it is so that is sashiko thread and it's designed for this type of project so we have our instructions and um, in here with little diagrams for you and then this is your little extra so these are paper strips printed paper strips to make origami stars so this one is in a different pattern but um i will show you how to make these we've got full instructions on how to make those in here and i'm also going to do a full demonstration on the video then you've got your white thread which is to sew your edges and then your linen table runner so they are the contents of your box this month so we're going to start by pressing our edges. So this dotted line will be the line that we're eventually stitching on. So you just need to fold your fabric over like that. So along this gray line, but you need to kind of have the gray line um, underneath so it doesn't show. So make sure you're kind of folding it around. You just see the gray line there. So you need to do that on all sides, just the same way on this side. We're pressing so that the continuous gray line is just underneath. So you've got um, pressing it just keeps it in position really as you're stitching it and we'll, we can pin it as well. But to do these corners then, you're pressing it and then you're unfolding it. And then you're getting a little ruler. So you can see your kind of pressed lines here and you just want to mark along the diagonal like this which is where your two straight lines meet. And that is where we're going to then press again. 
So I've just used an air erasable pen, so that will disappear with the heat, but you can just use a pencil, that's fine. Just make a light mark. You might, you might not even need to mark it. And then we're pressing that edge in, and then we will repress the corners. And it just gives you a really nice flat corner. So I'm going to pin that, but you can just see your corner then is just going to sit really nice and flat. I'm just going to pin mine this way because I'm going to show you how to hand sew it so I can take the pins out before I stitch. But if you were machine sewing it, you'd obviously put your pins that way so that you can stitch over them. And then what that leaves us with, so we've got our lovely corner and that leaves us with this line all the way around. It's just to top stitch over. So we're going to use a back stitch to do that and I will show you how to do that. Now if you wanted to and you had the patience to do so, you could fold this edge under again so that you are making a covered, so that you're basically really hiding the raw edge of the fabric. So you've got enough fabric to do that and I would do that and press again. So just turn your fabric under again so that you are covering the raw edge and just press. So if you've got the patience to do that, you could do that but if not you can just turn it over and leave the raw edge showing. See that just looks a little bit neater. So then I would pin and then sew that. So you have options there. You've got the kind of basic way to do it and then slightly more advanced if you want to turn the um, hem under and then we're just stitching all the way around. So you want to cut about 40 to 50 centimetre length of this white thread and then as is usual with our embroidery thread, we're going to split it. So we want three strands. You could use two if you want a more delicate look. So you just pull apart the number of strands that you want and slowly separate the two sides of the thread. I'm going to thread my needle and leave a tail of about 10 centimetres and then I'm going to tie a knot in one end. Don't double up. Lots of people double up, but that's going to make your strands twice the thickness because you're using both at the same time. So we just want one knot in the end and then we're going to do a back stitch. So we're going to start We're going to start fiddly, starting at the end. So I'm going to come up with my thread. I'm going to go back down right in the corner. This is my first stitch. And then I'm going to come up again. And then go back down. So I've just come up about two or three millimeters, the same size as my first stitch. And then you go back down the hole at the end of the last stitch. I'm going to come up again. Uh, 
That is no real knot, she says. And they go back down. So you're just covering that grey dotted line with stitches and re-threading your needle whenever you need any more thread to do that. That will just give you a lovely little hem to your work. Then tie your thread at the back of the fabric once you've finished as close to the fabric as you can and then just trim it. So that's your back stitch. So now we're taking our Sashiko thread and you want about 50, around 55 centimeters of this thread and that should get you around one bow in one go. So I'm gonna cut my thread. So the trick to keeping your stitching really nice and flat and not puckering the fabric is to not tie a knot in the end of your thread at the start. So what we're gonna do is pull the needle through and leave a tail of kind of five or six centimeters, but we won't pull that through. That will, that will stay and it will allow us to kind of flatten out the fabric as we go. So I'm going to start somewhere around the middle because you want to be going kind of round and then do a bit of the middle, then round again and do a bit of the middle and then round again. So anywhere around this kind of central part of the bow, you can start. And I'm just bringing my needle up. I'm going to start here. I'm going to leave my tail, but not knot it, and then go back down. I'm using the dash lines to size my stitches, but you don't have to. They will become invisible once you've kind of stitched around them. But they are kind of your guide for how big your stitches should be. So I'm just going up and down doing a running stitch and once you get to the end of the bow you can give the fabric a tug and flatten it out I'll show you what I do at the end just to make sure it's lying flat and there's no puckering going on so it's as simple as that you can just relax and enjoy this project, especially once you've sewn around your edges. You can, you've earned yourself some very relaxing sewing hours, just sewing these lovely little bows until you've completed them all. So now I've finished, and because I've done it all in one strand of thread, I can go to the back and I can pick up that first, I haven't left that long enough, but that first tail of thread, and then I'm just gonna now make sure everything is looking flat. I'm gonna tug it so that the thread sits evenly, and then I'm gonna knot it. So, Just tie a double knot. And then snip away. I've just realized that I've got a bit of a knot in my fabric there. Uh, don't look at that. But that is a stitched bow and then that is just how you go along and you do all of your bows and they just look gorgeous. 
So that is part one of the tutorial. That is how you stitch your linen table runner. I'm going to come back with part two and I will be showing you how to make origami stars with these papers. <laughs>